This is a quick video to show you how to load Capital IQ on your personal computer. So if you go to utsa.edu, click on My UT UTSA, and go down and find the library homepage. It should be in the library, library resources. Click on that. And then click on Databases under More Resources, Databases. We're going to load Capital IQ. So when you do Databases, you want to click on the C for Capital. When you click on the C, just come down the page and find Capital IQ. There it is right there. And then you have to set up. Mine won't look like what you will have because I've already set up an account. But hopefully it will let you set it up. It will require you to um, the dual login. I usually hit cancel here and do call me because I, for some reason the other hasn't worked. Um, but however you get you get your dual log login to work. So I've set up my account already. I already have an account with Capital IQ. I use my UTSA. You have to use your UTSA. EDU. So you'll have to figure out how to set that up. That's probably the most complicated part because it all, almost never works the first try. So if you're having trouble with that, then you know just keep trying or come by and catch me at, at the, the, the Financial Studies Center. And once you get in, then you'll, you'll get this dashboard for, for them. You can do quite a bit here. If you type in a company up here, there are ways to bring in a lot of data, but we want to actually load this to our Excel. We want to actually have Excel linked with the add-in to uh, Capital IQ. And so we're going to go to the downloads over here under My Profile, Downloads. And you have the Download Office plugin. You click on that, you'll have the typical um, file, execution file that you will have to run. It'll take it a little bit to load. So it loaded that, so we can click on that and run it. You do have to make sure you're out of all of Microsoft Office products before you start loading it. You'll get an error message if not. So just load it, S&P Capital IQ Office plugin. Might take a few minutes to do that as well. So when, the, when it's complete, you should be able to go into Excel. And when you load Excel, you should notice Capital IQ being loaded as part of your, your load into Excel. It should come up as part of the you know, I have Solver loaded, so it's loading Solver, but it should also load Capital IQ. And then just click on Excel when it comes in, and you'll you'll see the Capital IQ come up. You'll have to log in again, exactly the same way you logged in online. So however you set that up, just do that same thing again. Should be your UTSA.edu account, and hopefully you remember your password. Now they'll ask you if you want to download this library. You can say no because it does take some time. However, I would eventually, I'm going to click yes here because I want it. They do have a lot of really great templates you might find useful for other projects you're doing either in your coursework or on your job. So I'm going to say yes. I'll take it out of the video because it does take some time. But um, your choice, you can say no if you're just doing this just for one class and you just need some data for one class and the template's already been built by your professor. But if you want some really, really great templates, you might say yes there. And when you say yes, they'll give you a choice. I just click all and it takes it does take it several minutes to, to bring everything in. Okay, so once it all loads, you should have everything you need. You'll see the capital IQ there. If you have a file already set up, then you're good to go. 
If not, you'll see you click on the cap IQ. You can somewhat guess what you need to do. They do have the templates that you can load and you can see what they have. You have Formula Builder where if you're looking for a particular account like revenue or uh, cost of goods sold, you can use that. You can find companies. There's a lot of ways to do this. Um, that's not the purpose of this video. This video is just to show you how to get it loaded on your PC. I am using a PC uh, and Windows and it's working fine. If you're using Apple or Apple product, I'm not exactly sure how well it works, but hopefully it works just as well.